hope everyone's having a great day. Welcome to the vlog. Hey guys, so we're on our way to look for Miss Elisa here. Some new yoga pants. Not like she needs any, but what do y'all think about her hair? She got it done today. I think it looks beautiful. So a lot of y'all might not know this, but Elisa is actually a brunette. When I met her, I made her a blonde. What was that stuff called, baby, that we used? Frost and Glow Highlight Kit? Yep. Frost and Glow Highlight Kit. I did it myself, guys. I pulled her hair through a cap and turned it blonde. And you honestly don't think I can do as good of a job as your uh, stylist did today? Yes, but it's about getting out and going somewhere. For me, it's about doing it at the house and saving the money. You just never can have enough yoga pants. Nope. Huh? I mean, if you're gonna get some, get some with some color on them. Black. Yeah, I like those. Get a little color in them. Better than just solid black. Let me see those. Those are neat. Digital camo. Yeah, I like those. Blue turquoise. I tell you what, guys. The girls. day when yoga pants become in style for guys is when we've got trouble. I said the day that yoga pants come in style for guys is when we got trouble. Or you need to buy me some. I think they already are in style with shorts over the top. Oh yeah, those are like leggings though. What are they called? Tights. Tights. You ain't gonna find this guy wearing no tights. Put a smile on that face, girl. I found them, baby. Huh? Those are bright. Bright, bright. Too bright? Oh, the things I do for this girl. First, we go shopping for yoga pants, and now we're off to Bath and Body Works. What do you even have to do at Bath and Body Works? Buy a candle for a birthday. A candle? A candle's kind of like a gift, like, I like you, but I don't love you. It's for a girl. Exactly. Nobody wants a candle. It's like I could have just given you a, I could give you a twenty dollar gift card and I'll like that better than a candle. Well, the candle's cheaper than twenty dollars. <laughs> She's got a point. So baby, show me what you got. Candle. Well, I know a candle. What kind of candle did you get? And this is for Brittany? Lavender vanilla. That's for Brittany? Smell good? Yep. Our friend Brittany, it's her birthday, and Elise is going out to eat with her and another girlfriend tonight. And Brittany's husband, Danny, he's from Austin, Texas. Cool, cool dude, one of my favorites. If you guys are UT fans, University of Texas Longhorn fans, anyway, he was the guy that led the cow out to the field before the games. Bevo. So a lot of you may be wondering, who edits these videos we make? And there you have it. She's hard at work. That would be her. She is a final cut Pro, working hard on editing those videos. No, in all seriousness, guys, what we're trying to do is, is teach our boys to edit these videos eventually and give them a good solid foundation on a computer. So where are you going tonight, baby? I'm not sure, I need to call them. Copeland's of New Orleans? Or Olive Garden. Copeland's of New Orleans or Olive Garden? I don't know if you guys have ever been to Mardi Gras, but there's a place down there called Copeland's. Well, we were lucky enough to just get one of those here recently in Longview. Delicious, especially if you like seafood, little Cajun twist to it. Go to Copeland's. Guys, so me and my dad go to the baseball field. So I'm gonna start off pitching, and then I'm gonna go hitting, and we're on the big field, 220, and I'm gonna see if I can knock one over and I'm using my Easton. Guys, every little bit of extra work you put in helps. Batting, pitching, maybe just throwing with somebody. Your brother, your sister, your dad, or your friend. It all helps. We gotta warm up real quick. Sometimes people ask me, why every time I see you, you have a baseball bat here? Why every time I see you, you're carrying a baseball? I look at them and I tell them that to you, this may be just a baseball. This may be just a baseball bat. But to me, it's life. To me, it's my way out. To me, it's my ticket to freedom. 
Every time I carry a baseball bat around, every time I carry the baseball around, I look at it and I hold it. And I think of my mom, I think of my dad, I think of my family. When I'm carrying this baseball around, it reminds me of the future that I want for my future family. And I struck him out. Now it's hit. Guys, so the thing is, I have to hit it off the tee, and I have to hit the net. Let's see if I can do it. You don't actually have to hit the net. You have to hit the width of the net. So anything right above or through. I'm trying to get you to hit the middle of the ball and get it back in the middle. So guys, I broke the tee. Now we have to do soft toss. A little bit rusty. Guys, so I actually broke this part that comes up for the tee. Get that right there. We're gonna keep this part to do the other part away. Sometimes I carry the baseball bat around and I swing it and while I'm swinging that bat I'm swinging not for the next single. I'm swinging for the home run in life You got to stay focused on your goals You got to you got to hold on so tight to them that nothing the haters can tell you will stray you away from your dream you gotta hold that baseball, you gotta hold that glove that you love. You gotta take your uniform, you gotta iron it. You gotta make sure it's crisp because it's not just a uniform, it's your armor for life. Some of y'all don't really know what it feels like to lose sleep because of your dreams. Sometimes you get in the bed and you can't go to sleep because you can't wait for tomorrow. You can't wait to see if tomorrow brings you greatness or success. Some of y'all don't know what that feels like. You're not hungry enough. Some of, you not, some of you are not tired of your current situation. See, when I go to sleep at night, it's hard to go to sleep. I want to go to sleep so bad so I can get to Mr. Opportunity tomorrow. Tomorrow is another day set aside for me to be great. Set aside for me to be the best person that I can be. Some of y'all don't know what that feels like. You don't want it bad enough. You don't want it so bad that you can't sleep at night, that you can't eat, that you lose your appetite, that you don't even talk during the day because you're so focused on your dreams and success. Some of y'all know what that feels like. But when you get to that point, when that desire becomes a burning desire, when you lose sleep about your dream, you are on the fast track to success. You know you're on. So I actually did hit a lot of them consider. We're doing the same drill except my dad is soft tossing from that old screen. The right road. Everybody wants the easy way out of life. Nobody wants to put the work in. Everybody wants to know how to change, but don't want to do the work that involves change. You got to get up and do the exact opposite of what the people in your life is doing. You hang around a bunch of average people and that's why nothing is changing for you. Everything you do is average because you hang around average. You go to the store with average. You go on vacation with average. You sleep with average. And you wonder why you remain average. Sorry about that guys. We filmed so much of baseball that we had to put another memory chip in. This is what we usually use. The 64 gigabyte. We had two other ones and we tried them, but they were both out of memory too. Guys, so we just got done. We got to go to the house and my dad got to get some. Then we're on our way to Papa Cedars. Before me and my dad go eat, let's go bounce over to my mom and see what she's up to. Are you headed, Aiden? What are y'all going to do? Play. Straight up to my face, trying to play Pops just like night and day, I can see it like right away. 
Aiden, run that bag up to Austin real fast. Fast, fast. Man, that's so fast, Aiden. Run, Aiden, run, run. So we're pulling up to Tisha's and Aiden's getting out to go play with Cullen. See ya, Aiden. Now it's off to the dinner with the girls. Made it to Copeland's now. Gotta turn the camera off. So here we are at Papa Cita's Tex Mex. Yummy. So they have the best hot sauce. My dad's halfway done. We got the chips. They got good chips too. So the food got here. Two enchiladas, rice, and beans for me. A chili enchilada, a normal enchilada, rice and beans, and a crunchy taco loaded. Delicious, guys. I always give this place a five star review. Now we're on our way home to get ready to go to baseball in the morning. It's going to come early, man. Early, early. But you know what they say early bird gets the worm. Thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. Thanks for all the likes and comments. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so below. And remember, do it differently. Video uh, game in bed. Yeah. Here's Austin he's, dancing. Yeah, he's over there and oh, the I was trying to turn it off. So, oh my yeah, god. Dayton don't it's know so how to It's upside down. Yes, I do. Aiden, are you eating candy? Mm -hmm. Again, I'm cooking your grilled cheese.